Aloha Makapohana, it's RJ with another video and today we're coming from one of the last few days of boot camp. We're going to go over the things that happened in the month of February and we're going to talk about the things that are coming up and so stay tuned. So let's just get rid of the uh, elephant in the room. The magazine did come out about a month ago, and uh, yep, Suki's got it right there. So go ahead to page 34, because that's like the most important one. There's Ryan. And I know you all seen this already, but um, you know we just kind of want to share it because it's super exciting. And that is the worst picture of all time. No, it is not. Nah, it really is a great picture. And, I'm happy in there just because because everyone got a little bit of, of some love in there. Everybody did. And um, there is a digital copy online, so uh, we'll put that in the description. Perfect. Or if you're flying to Hawaii, pick up a couple. Take them home. Yeah. So as Rob's working the team out in tonight's workout, um, just wanted to go over what happened in February. We had an Ohana day, one of our first ones, and it was really successful. Uh, we had over 37 people there, including some volunteers from Home Depot and uh, our normal staff. We're also really proud to announce that all the funds that are coming in from the Colsa Conservancy are being used to pay staff. And some of our staff members are also um, visually impaired members of the Makapo Ohana. So right now we've got AJ and Efren um, as employees, and so it feels really good to be able to do that. Next Ohana Day is March 23rd, so check the website to see uh, if there's some available spots. I know that it's filling up fast, so uh, go to makapo.org slash events to see that. Um, I know it's filling up really fast, so you can go to the website to see if there's any more space left. So the most exciting thing that's coming up is the establishment of a para division in Scora. And so this year um, is going to be an exhibition division where we're going to have crews of three people with disabilities and three typically developed teammates and we'll be racing hopefully um, three or four crews from different clubs we might put two on ourselves and we're hoping that other clubs answer the call and uh, th those races will take place in San Diego for uh, Crystal Pier hopefully Marina Del Rey and then at Iron Champs at the end of the iron season. So um, we're really excited. We're very thankful to Scora for, for allowing us to explore this along with other clubs and uh, we'll see what's going to happen. And what do you do to usher in the existence of a new division? You create some awareness and some buzz. So the way that we're going to do that is by participating in this year's uh, Wild Buffalo Relay from Catalina to Newport Beach and that's on April 7th. We're doing it a little bit differently. Normally that race is set up as a crossing with small boats, like ones and two person boats, but we're gonna do it with six people, and or actually we're gonna do it in a six man, and we're gonna do this in conjunction with two other great charities that are based out of the Newport Aquatic Center. One is We Are Ocean, and the other one is Open Water. And we'll start the crossing early, and our goal is to create uh, a lot of buzz and bring a, awareness and attention to the new para division. So in recognition of the efforts of all the team members who are participating in this year's uh, Wild Buffalo Relay, we're asking for you, our Makapohana, to make a donation to support our effort in not only um, this race, but establishing and growing the para division here in Southern California and hopefully beyond. You can go to our website to find links to the donation page, and that donation page will also be listed in the description below. So that's it for now. Make sure you like and subscribe. Check out the website to make that donation, and uh, hopefully we'll see you all in the next video.